Hey everyone, a fungus among us, here it comes. Do you know that you are being constantly attacked by thousands of bacteria, viruses, fungus, yeast, or candida? And the body's immune system is under constant assault, attacked by the environment. In this video, we're gonna talk about the four types of infections and my favorite ways to treat candida, yeast, mold, and mildew. This is Dr. Jason West in the West Clinic and we're coming at you with 100 years of healing. Please type in fungus in the comment lane for your free report and I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible achieve and maintain optimal health. So please like and share the video. Let's talk fungus. Here it is. Fungus Among Us, natural ways to beat fungus. Do you have questions about fungal infections and who gets them? Where do they happen? Is it toenail fungus? Is it a chronic sinus infection? Is it a respiratory disease? And what are the treatment options? How can you prevent fungal infections? And after watching this video, you'll know the four types of infections, what you can do to avoid fungus, and you'll know the difference between yeast, candida, and fungus, and what treatments are available to work, the six solutions, and as a bonus, the four advanced therapies for fungal infections. Hi, this is Dr. Jason West coming at you from the West Clinic four generations and 100 years of healings. Now, before I go on, I need your help. I want to help as many people with a cause, to help people achieve and maintain optimal health without going to doctors, without unnecessary drugs. I was asked yesterday by a patient, what can you do about infection? I replied, what type of infection? Because there are four types of infection, bacterial, viral, parasites, and fungus. And after the discovery of antibiotics, it seemed like everyone assumed infections were bacterial and we just hammered people with antibiotics. It was called the wonder drug. And the dictionary defines anti meanings fighting, opposing, or killing. And bios is the Greek word for life. So it literally means life killing. Now I'm not anti-medicine, but I feel you should use antibiotics cautiously. They can be life-saving, but they also can be detrimental to your health. And remember this, I have seen hundreds of patients with the after effects of antibiotics and often antibiotics are the cause or the contributing factor to chronic yeast and fungal infections. So let's talk about mushrooms. I mean, who really eats these things? I mean, you need an MRI schedule for your brain if you're a fungus or mushroom eater. Now I say that jokingly because I don't like mushrooms, but it's a proven fact that people that eat mushrooms eventually die. Okay, I'll drop the comedy act. I just have an aversion to mushrooms. I mean, do you know what they grow on? Seriously, it's poo. Okay, okay, never mind about the fecal living organisms the video must go on. Really, this is a good place to talk about the definitions because mold, yeast, mildew, they're all fungus. And the words get used interchangeably. And many times people are talking about yeast or candida or candida fungus to describe the same thing. Now some ground rules. Yeast are a unicellular fungi, while fungus are made up of a whole bunch of them or long tubes of hyphae. And candida are basically the precursor to yeast. It's kind of like a caterpillar and a butterfly the same organism, just a different life cycle. And there are different areas that yeast and candida and fungi, the monster likes to go after. You can have skin problems like athlete's foot, jock itch, fingernail or toenail fungus and ringworm. And why is it such a problem? Because Americans unintentionally fertilize yeast. What? Who does that? It's because the American diet is filled with so much sugar and simple carbs and it's the one way to address the problem. And if you starve the fungus, you'll start to feeling worse because it starts initially to release toxins and the natural thing to do is to start eating sugar and the yeast laps it up and then all of a sudden we feel like we were before. When the yeast and candida multiply, it makes us crave sugar. Sugar is like cocaine, it's really addicting. Now how do you know if you have a yeast problem? Well, one clue is symptoms like oral thrush, fingernail, toenail fungus, vaginal yeast infections, and respiratory infections. And it can get up into your sinus and cause enormous sinus and eventually lung problems. I personally believe that candida is a huge contributing factor to fibromyalgia and or chronic fatigue syndrome, or the new name, systemic exertion tolerance disease. Now, a lot of medical practitioners don't believe in candida or systemic candida, and it's like it's some religion. I don't believe in that. Now, the medical practitioners that do recognize these problems may be treating them wrongly. Many antifungals affect the liver and kidney function, especially if you mix the antifungals with alcohol or another drug. Antifungals weaken the heart's ability to contract. This can lead to heart failure. And the medicines that antifungals react with 
are usually common prescriptions or over-the-counter medicines. Now, fungus are microorganisms that are present everywhere, indoors and outdoors. In fact, there are more than 50,000 types of fungi in the environment. And they can coexist or live on your skin for years without a problem, but sometimes a change happens. You get immunocompromised or you have chronic fatigue or chronic immune suppression and then bam, an infection occurs. And it can be ringworm, it can be toenail beds, candidiasis, it can coat your mouth, your vaginal tract, your urinary tract. Then this can be brought on by a weakened immune system. The side effects of antibiotics, of diabetes, poor hygiene, a warm and moist environment, poor circulation, traumatic skin injury, and number one, a poor diet. So let's talk about something really important. If you're having fungal infections or fungal concerns or problems of fungus on your toenails and fingers, it's a sign that your immune system is not working correctly. Let me repeat that. A fungal infection is a sign of a deeper problem. You can't avoid fungus, yeast, and mold. What you can do to avoid fungus? You can't. They're everywhere. The only way that you can survive fungal infections is to have a healthy immune system. Immune system deficiencies, lifestyle problems like stress, too much sugar, not enough sleep, an empty calorie diet. What? An empty calorie diet, that means you're getting food, space, takers, but no real substance. And in my opinion, the only long-term viable solution for a chronic yeast candida infection is to work on the person and make them healthy, not the fungus, not the yeast. You must take charge of your health and relying on a pill or an antifungal medicine, in my opinion, is a recipe for disaster. So let's talk about solutions. Here's the best way to treat types of infections. Number one, remove the food source for the yeast, candida, and fungus. Stop eating food cocaine. And I say that because it sounds cool, and everyone says sugar is more addictive than cocaine. So avoid sugar. Apple cider vinegar helps to kill fungal infections, and the acidic properties that help to kill the infection you can use externally and internally. Now for systemic problems, I really like probiotics, cultured foods, and plain yogurt, but not yogurt with sugar in it. Oils like tea tree oil, oregano, peppermint, and clove oil. Now my favorite antifungal is a natural remedy called Lomatium. It's a wild crafted herb that was originally discovered by Native Americans that bolster the immune system. And in my opinion, it's the number one remedy for fungal infections. And there are two ways to get this, as a tincture or as a capsule, and this is particularly affecting against skin infections because it literally burns up the fungus. You can rub it on your fingernails or toenails that have fungus, and you can order this through the West Clinic online website. Now, for people that are not responding to the home therapy, there are some advanced therapies that are important to help your immune system. I love immune system bolstering therapies like IV vitamin C therapy, dilute hydrogen peroxide therapy, dilute hydrochloric acid therapy, ultraviolet therapy, and the natural therapies that help to reset the nervous system like neural therapy. So to summarize the information, you can't avoid fungus. It's a sign that your immune system is not working well if you have those signs and symptoms. And antifungal medicines interact with other prescriptions and are really hard on the liver and kidneys. The only way you win in a yeast candida fungal infection is to make the body healthy. And to beat this, you need to follow a candida diet. You get rid of the food source for the bad guys. Now, as a bonus, if you'll message me, I'll send you my favorite candida diet outline totally free. Now, Lomatia is the best treatment for candida systemically, in my opinion. You can put Lomatia on your fingers and toes. It works really well as long as you're consistent. If you're more determined than the fungus, Lomatia application consistently is great. And some people with long-standing yeast and candida fungal problems need the advanced therapies that bolster the immune system like IV vitamin C, UVLX therapy, dilute hydrochloric acid therapy, or even ultraviolet bloody radiation therapy. Hey you guys, thanks for watching the video on fungus. Remember there's always hope. This is Dr. Jason West of the West Clinic. Please help us to help other people by liking and sharing the video. And we'll see you on the next video.